This wasn't supposed to be an anxiety vlog, but it's happening now, people. Ah! You can throw it? Mm -mm. Oh, yeah. Like this isn't yours. <laughs> hey guys, good morning and welcome to the vlog. Um, I actually took the day off from work today. This is my first day off since starting my new job, but for a good reason. I'm actually taking poor Kyle to surgery today. So he is getting two wisdom teeth out as well as the roof of his mouth. Um, what is it Craft. called? Craft? Skin, graft. skin grafted. So the roof of your mouth, skin grafted, and then place at the bottom gums. That sounds so painful and disgusting. No offense, sorry. So I'm editing this video and I realize that my lips are really white. And I just want to let you know it's because I have like SPF 30 like lip chap that makes them white. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't like a grade seven moment where we used to put foundation on our lips. I'm not there yet. So, you know, I hope you're enjoying the video. So I'm going to be driving him to Ottawa, which is a couple hours away, and then I believe the appointment's a couple hours. So I'm planning on just getting editing done and stuff, but I really wanted to show you guys after because I'm pretty sure he's going to be on some hardcore drugs. So I know I was when I had my wisdom teeth out, and it was a wild time. So I'm hoping to get some funny footage, but that's why I'm doing this vlog. So sorry, Kyle. A little OOTD. I have my black Zaya leggings on. These are the ones that like do not fall down. I have this amazing jacket, well, not a jacket, a vest from my aunt, and it's heated, and it's the freaking best. And then I just have this, like, long sleeve, tight black shirt that I've had literally since grade 8, so good times. And then my new glasses from Amazon, which I love. They're the blue light ones, and I just wanted an extra pair so that um, if I ever drop my good ones that are expensive, then I have, like, this cheap pair. So, anyways... We're just getting ready to leave, so I packed some cut up carrots, my favorite type of hummus, so good, and then my favorite vegan protein bar. This is really freaking good, so I'm excited to have that. Uh, this is just a case for my laptop, obviously my phone I need, and then I'm bringing some uh, extra batteries and a uh, SD card for my camera, and then my agenda, which, you know, always comes with me. I'm obsessed. If you're an agenda person, like, you'd understand. Anyways, also this lighting, like, look how disgusting that is. Blech. Hi there, can I get a large orange pico tea? One milk and one bag in, one on the side, please. Anything else? No. You can drive off. Thank you. Tea, 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 tea. Thank you. They never listen. One bag in, one bag out. No, they just double bag it. But I'll use the energy. Oh, you're me a double bag bitch? I am. That's what I call myself, a double bag bitch when I have that because I get wired. I just dropped Kyle off. He was so nervous. I felt so bad, but I know it's not going to be as bad as he thinks. And like once he's knocked out, like he's not going to remember anything and it'll be fine. But the uh, receptionist told me that his surgery is two hours. So I'm gonna kill two hours. I brought my laptop and stuff to edit and I brought books and literally like just everything that I showed you this morning. So I got lots to do. I'm not really worried about that. I am just gonna go find some food cause I didn't wanna like eat and stuff in front of him. Uh, especially like, you know, good breakfast food cause that's his thing. Um, but he's like, can you take me for ice cream after? So I'm gonna have to like spoon feed him. It's just gonna be bad. But anyways, I wanted to say when you go in there, it was like there was one receptionist desk and I was like, oh, this isn't bad. I was expecting more. And then we walk around the corner. There's like 10 or 12 receptionists, all for different doctors. It was like so intimidating. It was the biggest office I've ever seen in my life. It was honestly so freaking cool. So anyways, I'm gonna just Google some things uh, to eat around here because we're in Ottawa. So like, you know, there's lots of freaking choices, not like back home. I'm trying to decide what to eat on my phone and honestly like there's a lot of stuff that I know of or things that I haven't heard of like there's a good mix but my thing is I don't know how it works with COVID now like am I allowed in like what kind of place is this is it in a sketchy area 
I just overthink when it's like somewhere new and I honestly blame the quarantine and like the whole COVID thing because I was never like really nervous about that kind of stuff but now any sort of change like if I don't know exactly where I'm going with the specific situation and the parking situation I just stick with what I know because honestly I will probably likely go to McDonald's because everything else just sounds too scary for me and that's so lame but I don't know if anyone else feels like that uh, but ever since yeah COVID and all that stuff it just it makes me anxious going anywhere new uh, and I'm hoping that it will eventually like you know get out of me that trait but as of right now I'm just gonna live through it and just you know stick with what's comfortable so just wanted to share that in case anyone else feels that way you are not alone so you want to know what my anxiety is like I'm at McDonald's I appear here and then there is a sign on the door that says that I have to use the main entrance and instead of me just going to the main entrance I decided to try to turn on the busiest street ever couldn't do it ended up turning right turning around somewhere and then realizing there's no parking spots still so I have to still be in the exact same spot so I literally just circled for no apparent reason instead of just walking to the front of the building just because I have anxiety and now I have even bigger anxiety because I pushed it off Okay, like I'm literally trying to go on McDonald's. It's not a big deal, but the traffic was freaky. I'm freaked out. I'm in fat burning mode. That's not my Fitbit. I can do this. I can do this. I am just entering McDonald's in a busy city and the door, for some reason in my head, I'm like, what if I walk over there and the door isn't open, it's locked and everyone stares at me. That's what's going through my head. I have no idea why that is so stupid. Anxiety is so stupid, but anyways, I just wanted to, this wasn't supposed to be an anxiety vlog, but it's happening now people It's happening now. I don't know why I thought I could do this with one hand. <gasps> I did Okay, someone is exiting the building so like I can definitely get in I Can freaking do this guys. I hope you're cheering me on watching this Guys, I freaking did it I'm a new woman. Honestly, I panicked. I didn't even know what I was ordering. But I got some french fries. That are cold. But it is what it is. And I got tea. A little Earl Grey moment. I'm um, not going to lie. Like, people are staring at me film. That doesn't stress me out at all. Like, I could literally just stare at them back and be like, sup. But what does stress me out is apparently driving around and going to new places. But it's McDonald's. It's not even a new place. Oh, anyways, um, I'm just going to edit boring stuff. Nothing really to see here. I'll pick up Kyle. It'll be a good time. The Gumdock place just called me. It's actually only been like a little over an hour. So I have to wait 30 minutes and then they're going to let me up there. But apparently it went really well. You know, he's not dead. That's exciting. Because like, you know, I've watched too much Grey's Anatomy lately that I was like a little panicky. Uh, but yeah, anyways, so that's good. And then, yeah, she said he can walk. He's just gonna, like, you know, need some assistance. So we'll see when I spoon feed him ice cream. <laughs> ah! It looks like nothing is different. Oh. Okay, yeah. Here, don't talk. We'll call your parents and then um, do you do you want ice cream? Yeah. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. Yes, it's Mr. Icebag. <laughs> Welcome, Wendy. What can I get for you today? Hi there. Can I please get a medium strawberry frosty? And just a cup of water on the side, please. It has been a freaking long day, people. I dropped Kyle off just because he was getting really sore. And I picked up Bane, as you can see. And I just got Kyle's medication, which I've never went to the pharmacy and received a bag. Like, legit so much stuff. On the way uh, like back home, he had actually used like the Google Translator to tell me things and it was so funny. Like at first, I didn't record it because I was driving, but like, oh my gosh. He said um, that when he was like getting the IV or whatever, 
the machine that has like his heart rate on it started beeping and he started panicking and he said to the nurse that um, his fiance has made him watch way too much Grey's Anatomy and he was so freaked out. She's like, don't worry, it's okay. But I would have been the same way because I literally have watched way too much Grey's Anatomy. I'm obsessed with that show. That is our go-to show right now. And uh, he also said that, because they did tell me that they started waking him up out of anesthesia when they were doing the like the gum part of it uh, after the wisdom teeth. So it kind of makes sense why he wasn't as loopy as I would have thought. But oh my gosh, like he said that he was scared because basically he got the IV, he went to sleep and then it felt like he woke up right away and he still had people in his mouth. So he was panicking that the freezing didn't like actually take and that he was feeling everything. So he started interni internally panicking. So I was like, and he had all this in Google Translator and with their voice, like with the like the monotone, blah, 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 blah. It was like just priceless. It made me laugh. So in a weird sick way. <laughs> Anywho, I'm uh, almost home now. I'm gonna go figure out these drugs, read everything, cause he's got so many instructions. It's unbelievable. When I had surgery on my teeth, my mom made me this thing with a t-shirt. She put ice in it and she like basically wrapped it. And that's essentially supposed to wrap around your face and tie it so that the ice stays on your cheek. So I'm gonna to attempt to remember how she did this so Kyle can at least have some relief. So let's see how I make it. So we got the two ice packs. I'm gonna to attempt to roll it and then hopefully it works out. Okay, so it should. Oh yeah. This will actually feel so good. This is bringing back the mems. wasn't supposed to be like a mental health vlog. This was just gonna be about Kyle. I thought it was gonna be funny because I actually thought he'd be way more drugged up after his surgery. Um, but with that being said, I'm actually kind of excited that I had anxiety as weird as that sounds because I was able to like be open about like how dumb that McDonald's parking lot thing was and that's anxiety for you. So I'm actually starting therapy on Tuesday. I am so unbelievably excited. I did therapy as a kid, but once I turned uh, 18 or 19, you uh, couldn't do it anymore, like the sessions, so it was just for kids. So it sucked, but uh, I got benefits, you know? <laughs> That's actually the main reason, is just like leveling my stress hormones out, because I get cellulite like right here on my stomach if I'm stressed out, and if I'm like lounging around on a weekend or anything like that, I don't have cellulite so I know that it's from stress and I'm just trying to eliminate that to get you know like a good summer bod going and obviously like to have better mental health so if you have anxiety you are not alone trust me sometimes it sucks so bad and like it doesn't even make sense and I just wanted to be like open because hopefully if you're watching this vlog and you suffer with just like odd things like that when you have anxiety I hope that it's relatable and that it makes you feel better because we are in this together uh, so anyways thank you guys so much for watching uh, uh, don't forget to subscribe like this video all that fun stuff i also kind of forgot to update you but kyle's doing okay he's just on a lot of drugs chilling downstairs but i have been taking care of him and feeding him when he's hungry so kind of like a big baby but anyways thank you guys again and have a great rest of your day